Some people like to walk on the ground. I like to walk on water. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, I'm not on the water, actually. So, uh, yeah, I'm here. And uh, last time I came to this area, it's, it's a beach of some kind. It's a, it's a pier. And uh, there were some good spawns, but I think... Uh, okay, there they are. So there's Carvanha, which I didn't do the event for, so no shiny on that. Uh, I just checked the Metatite. It's normal. Krabby's normal. I don't really need any more. I don't need another uh, shiny magic orb. I've caught two in my lifetime. That's enough. Let's just check it anyway. For no reason. Um, and then there's Dratini, which is kind of cool. Uh, I kind of, I've come to expect Dratini at, uh, you know, near water areas, beaches. The last one I saw was like Hermosa Beach, maybe, somewhere around there. And uh, this beach I'm at right now is in San Pedro. Um, so there's an anorite. Shiny anorite would be nice. Let's see. There's a whooper. Whoopa. I already checked the Whalmer. Let's check the other one. I guess Whalmer's kind of common here. I'm uh, let's see. It's kind of Obviously, a lot of water types here. Just had lunch. Kind of drove out here, and uh, it's one of those days, and uh, one of those days where. Uh, People are kind of not in a great mood, so you get away from it. Um, like, self-preservation, kind of cowardly. You should try and make people happy if they're in a bad mood, but like, they'll come around eventually, so. You don't need to try changing people also. Let them feel things as they do and all that. Um, Oshawott. Yeah, I think the Dratini I saw last was in, it was Redondo Beach actually, because I was there two days ago. And uh, they, uh, that was the first night they announced the, uh, what was it, the uh, curfew. I'm in LA County, so for the last couple of days they've been announcing a countywide curfew and uh, Slowpoke. We finally got to see Galarian Slowbro, that was pretty nice. I just saw today's, uh, not Nintendo Direct, but it was the, uh, what was it? It's like just the news, news the trailer, I guess, for the upcoming Sword and Shield DLC. So, yeah, a lot of cool spawns here, a lot of water types, and uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm kind of kind of excited for that that uh, DLC. June 17th is earlier than I, I was expecting. They kept saying end of June for the. Uh, I think it's the uh, Isle of. What is it? There's a Tundra and there's a Crown Isle. I forget the names <laughs> in this moment. But the Isle one, I think, is the... Oh, we got an Alolan egg here. We got Isle of Armor. That's what it is. Isle of Armor. And then Crown Tundra, I think. That's what it is. So Isle of Armor um, comes out June 17th, which is pretty sweet. I got some uh, deadlines, I guess. I'm just... <laughs> Whenever I play this game and stream, I'm getting away from work, obviously. So I've got a... Let's see, i got some deadlines coming up. Uh, so June 15th, I have to submit a paper by. I think it's pretty much ready. There's a cast form. Um, I'm just doing research, and so... So I have a paper due on... Uh, check the cast form again. Paper due on... Uh, when is it? Yeah, June 15th for uh, Human Computer Interaction International Conference 2020, of which I am a program member, program board member. So, so snubble. And now you might be able to hear the water and uh, I'm right by the sand. I didn't come to this part. The part that I came to last time um, with my recent ex-girlfriend is uh, closed off. You can see it. It's closed off. Got all the yellow tape and stuff. I think red tape's better, but oh well. 
So, uh, yeah, I woke up to a disappointed email from my uh, professor, proxy advisor, because I'm working on my dissertation. And just that people are, my elders are in that kind of mood, mood right now. Um, parents are both on like, you know, calls because they're business people. And the professor is getting a bit in a tizzy over my latest submission. So, so whatever. People kind of, kind of choose whether to be happy or not, you know. <laughs> you have to find a pattern for uh, how people, when and how people feel happy. I mean, we have a science of happiness, uh, positive psychology, although they, would, they don't like to sell themselves as being that. They say science of well-being, so okay, whatever. <laughs> and um, supposedly that's deeper than just ha shallow happiness. But hey, if you can't be shallowly happy, then you probably can't be well either. If you can't cover the shallow, you can't get deep. I say to that, but anywho, I could have kept walking along the sand, that would have been kind of nice, but uh, I don't think we would have found any cool spawns there, so what else do I have coming up? Um, so June 15th and then June 17th, um, what's on June 17th? Oh, the uh, uh, DLC for Sword. <laughs> I, I treat Pokemon things as deadlines, like events. I put them on my calendar, everything. Same thing I do for school and, and uh, other projects. Because uh, it's just as important. Um, yeah. Let's see, I've consumed a good amount of media over the past couple days. I've been thinking about is just consumption of media. And uh, hey, the great thing about this beach right now is that all the parking meters seem to be out. So that's much better than Hermosa Beach or uh, Redondo Beach, which was, uh, hey, our meter is, is broken, so you pay more than you should. More than you like actually agree to, because they don't give you an option to agree, which is just coercion. Two Dratini, I think. I don't think that's the same one I just saw. We're a little further out now, and I think you're gonna hear a lot of wind here, so sorry about that. A couple of pan pours, that's pretty interesting. So. Some good photo ops right now, actually. Pointing the camera. I have 19 subscribers on YouTube now. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know what that's about, but, uh, there's an interesting little kind of stairway here. It's kind of, someone might push me in into the water if I get too close. That happened to me as a kid. So. <sighs> yeah. And as usual, half the people are wearing masks, half aren't. I'm not. I'm pretty uh, not in a mood to comply at the moment with uh, things that are above me. Media, government, very easy these days for uh, authority to exercise it. You know, I mean, it's not all bad. You get some sympathy. Sometimes. Some people got the checks in the mail. That was a nice gesture. And, uh... but then you get days like today. You can just tell like, oh, yeah, you're in a bad mood. So it's like whatever. That. Actually, I, uh, yeah, this is where I started the stream. That's where I started. I'm trying to walk in a way to minimize uh, wind noise. I put pig 
Ignite is my buddy because uh, we've all uh, do autism. I'm starting to feel kind of at home. You know? Just having two busy parents is not having parents at home, so that's already kind of. I, I didn't think I'd get over it that quickly. I've been living at home for like a year. Firework or something. Wow. Uh, it's interesting. All right. <laughs> uh, so. Oh, 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 oh. I love that name. <laughs> First stop. It's the best name. Stop name ever. Oh, so we gotta get another one. We might already check that Carvana. I like saying Pokemon's name differently every time. I ordered my uh, ex-girlfriend uh, most recent one some uh, Thai food because I had some Thai food for, oh boy, here we are. <laughs> I'm drowning. Um, anyway, I had Thai for lunch and Thai iced tea, so just paying it back. It's kind of cool. It was a whalmer and then... Yeah, definitely, like, bad news I've been noticing lately kind of comes in waves and comes in clusters. So I think it'd be kind of neat if someone did like, a science experiment on that, because, you know, not to, like, try and prove my own hypothesis. I wouldn't do it for that reason. But, hey, if the data says it, the data says it, right? Anyway, so let's see. Makuhita, Tauros on the water. And I'm back in the water, so... Cool area to be in, but not really practical. That was interesting. That was like a little and then it disappeared. So yeah, I got pig night there. Get it to walk. Let's see. Give it a, give it the three berries you need to max out its berry happiness, I guess they'd call it. And the last berry, there we go. All right, now we get Pig Knight joining us in our adventure. So we can go back. Maybe those wands we saw up here again. Maybe I'll tweet that uh, pig knight. Uh, pig knight's on the water. Get out of there, buddy. We're good buddies. Too. All right. Uh, okay. Check the crabby. Couple squirtles here. I think we already checked the wheel. I don't need a shiny squirtle, so I don't really need to check it. I think I already checked the Bulbasaur. My short-term memory for, like, if I check the Pokemon on here is pretty, pretty bad. Squirrel. But yeah. My professor was like, uh, oh, you didn't do this the way I wanted you to, basically. <laughs> it's the thing when you get to my age where, you know, like, some companies, um, fund you to get to learn. I'm not being funded to my school at the moment, so uh, I was only getting funded to the extent that I was eating and research and teaching. So now that those incentives are gone, it's, a, it's much more kind of, it's more freewheeling. Um, now it's more a test of, uh, you know, somebody asks you to do something. satisfied. I guess the client or the customer in this case. So. Bubble looks kind of dark. A couple 
podcast form. I watched a full like playthrough of a. Uh, can you beat? Uh, can you beat Emerald? I think or Ruby of Sapphire with just cast form. It's M and J TV. I saw that on this channel. But yeah, there's a good amount of stops over there, and then there's a gym, there's a couple gyms. So it'd be kind of nice to walk over there. Let's see. Assuming I don't, I don't get dinged for parking, because I couldn't pay for those meters. So, let's see. It's just the wind is kind of, kind of annoying right now. Uh, I guess I could catch these uh, Oshawats just because... Uh, I evolved my Duat, so I don't have Duat anymore. I do like the kind of live decks in this game. I like to keep the live Pokédex kind of, you know, as complete as it can be. So, we got that Oshawott. We're going back to get another one, I guess. I'm seeing more like rumor, the rumor mill for uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes is pretty, it's tilting at full speed, let's say that. The rumor mill is tilting at full speed, so. There's a speedboat, a couple of speedboats out there, that looks pretty fun. Could have brought my Pokeball Plus out for this. It was just pretty inconsistent with connecting. That was a different Monty I haven't got a shiny in here in a while. I wish I needed it. thing is when I ordered food to my ex's place, I'm not sure, like, Santa Monica, so I'm like, I ordered it to be delivered at 6.30 without realizing that that's half an hour past the LA County curfew now, so I'm like, the app I used was, uh, what was it? Chow Now, I use that one. I hadn't heard of that one until today. And, uh, so I used that and they said they'll email me when the food's ready to be delivered. So hopefully it gets there. And, uh, hopefully protests, I think it feels like protests are down today. I mean, for the last couple of days, people were protesting uh, at the Trump golf course, which is kind of close to where I'm staying right now. It's just kind of down the road. So, uh, I don't know where that other Oshawa went. I wonder if it was further back here. Where I'm going right now. But, uh, kind of cool fan force. I think, uh, Simi, I think, um, Pan Sage and Pan Seer appear in Asia because I got my Simi Seer and uh, Simi, what is it called? <laughs> I forget their names. Simi Seer and Pan Seer. Yeah, it's Pan and then Simi. Um, I got those in Turkey. Yeah, Istanbul. So, um, yeah, I guess the others are in Asia probably. But Istanbul actually goes into Asia. Like there's an Asian part of Istanbul. So I was kind of looking when I was there. I was like, uh, you know, will these, uh, will these monkeys appear there? I'm not sure. But I, I think my coverage got kind of bad there, so I gave it up, sort of. Abandoned the effort. But there's quite a few panthers here. I really don't see them that often, like given near water and stuff. So it's like I've seen three or four. Maybe. 
I don't know where this Oshawa went. It might have been at the, on the sand up ahead of me. It's pretty active here right now. Yeah, I'm definitely in a bit of a senioritis mode with grad school, which is like basically when you're working on your thesis or dissertation, that's when you're like a, I, I consider that being like a super senior, pretty much, or maybe just a senior, honestly, but uh, I'm kind of super senior about it because <laughs> uh, I just finished year five, so I realized that earlier. And uh, last I saw, I have eight years to complete the PhD. So that's comfortable. It's definitely comfortable. Of course, everyone around me is like, has no idea how PhDs work. So they're like, oh, so you think you can get this done in a year? You think you can get this done in six months? It's like, hell no. <laughs> I used to just say yes, just because I, I would hope so, but it's just not really realistic. And it's like, even if I wanted to finish it in that length, it's like professors kind of might not, you know. In an ideal world, it's just all up to me, like to decide when my work begins and ends, but this ain't no ideal world, I guess. It's kind of somewhat gloomy. I mean, you could see some light blue. There's a random male knit around on the water. All right, man, I see you. Trying to, trying to learn to swim, see that? Respect that. So, let's see. That's the way I just came. I think I might have had this open last time I was here. I'm not, I can't really remember. Oh, okay, now there's a sponsor. Okay. So anyway, we didn't really, uh, we didn't see the mon we came here to see, but I don't know what road it was. So there's my short drunk memory again. from my dad and of course the curfew i'm getting like three texts a day it's like just so you know there's this curfew it's like thanks thanks guys thanks news thanks it government it with this kind of government and political climate I think pushed me more toward my libertarian tendencies, which is like anti-authoritarianism, which I'll always be. Well, I'm pro-authority, I'm anti-authoritarian. There's a difference there. I don't know if authoritarian is a word, but authoritarian is. So I'm anti-authoritarian, pro-authority. So I respect authority which is, and must be legitimate, but there's some weird things with the government these days. There's a lot of exercises of power that are frankly gross. And you're seeing a lot of, uh, you know, government freaking out and being like, oh, oh no, we need a curfew now, uh, protests, right? Zero protests uh, down the street for me, which suggests that, okay, maybe the policies are working in that case. Uh, maybe they'll relax on the curfew, like, tomorrow. But this is the third day in a row that they've had the 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew. In fact, yesterday was earlier. It was 5 p.m., I think, 6 a.m. So, obviously, with that kind of inconsistency, there's clearly some experimentation going on. I really wish 
wish the uh really wish the wind weren't as strong right now but oh well maybe that's my cue to end this so uh i guess this uh the title of this video will be pick night walking with me pick night is my buddy so uh, anyway stay safe and uh you know just stay happy really stay happy stay uh stay at peace with yourself and whatever you do and uh stay free stay responsible and all that good stuff peace